today's project is quickie um, it's based on a tool made by John from John's workshop and he has the plans for it on his uh, on his YouTube channel on his site um, a very very good tool it's called the angle set angle set block and it's for setting up angles in the milling vise uh, five degree angles you know, one way or the other it basically uh, set stuff up quickly for angles without using a sign bar or sign plate now I don't often need to set stuff up for angles in the milling vise although I've got one of his uh, I've made one of his one of his blocks um, but what I do have is a need for setting up specific angles in the uh, in the lathe um, for turning Morse 2 tapers, Morse 4 tapers and 7 24 tapers and it's a right pain in the hole to set stuff up you have to piss about with a with a what you call it with a with a with a comparator and you have to you do a lot of pissing about to get stuff set up correctly and what John's block basically does um, it makes a sign bar without needing a sign bar or Joe blocks what we use is some hardened pins in specific holes in here that are relative to one of the edges or in fact in this case to both of the edges given that, that block is more or less squared up now um, and you can use that to set to rapidly set the cross slide or the angle on a lathe or in here or you could set the angle of a vice on the table um, and so that's what we're going to do um, this is made somewhat easier by having a, a DRO because what we're going to do is basically we're going to drill a hole here and then we drill another hole here and that's all there is to it uh, well for the, 720, for the 724 taper we drill one hole here so we have one zero hole and then we have a 724 hole and a Morse 2 hole and a Morse 4 hole and basically we take them as wide as we can on the block and then we can use that to set stuff up I'll show you how that works in a bit right so we are currently yes so currently set to a zero zero on the well, more or less on the DRO so what we're going to do is make a hole at zero zero this is a two millimeter hole that's going to go all the way through and then uh, we will make one at uh, so 7 over 24 is in fact 3.5 over 24 to get the half angle and we're going to go 24 48 70 um, 72 and then we're going to go 3.5 and 3.5 and 3.5 and, 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 and we're going to make the second hole Right, um, actually before I read these out to two and a half, um, I'm going to do the Morse 2 hole as well. Um, the way that we do this is that we take our list of all of the Morse taper dimensions and we do some maths. Tangent of one degree, 25 minutes, 50 seconds is 0.249 now we need to multiply that by the length that we're coming here because the tangent is the opposite which is this if we, if we draw on here uh, where's my pen gone where's my little pen oh I left my little pen I want to twit what we're doing is we're making a right angle triangle here um, so this 72 this 
is X and this is the hypotenuse and that is the angle alpha which is the angle that we're after. So tangent of angle that is equal to the opposite X over 72 which means that if we multiply the tangent by 72 we get X. So we multiply by 72 equals 1.798 which is basically a 1.80 mil i meters in the in fact y direction here so 1.8 because 1.798 rounds to 1.79 rounds to 1.8 so there we go. So there we go to 1.8 on the... Nope. Oop. Go that way maybe. 1 1.81. 1.800. 1.795. There we go. 1.80. So we're going to plunge a hole in there. And that will give us the Morse 2 taper. Let's get on with that. So now that noise is over and done with, we now have a zero point, an origin. We have a hole for setting up the Morse 2 taper. And we have a hole for setting up the 724 taper. So let's change collets. Change drills. There we go. Oops. I should find my other, my other C spanner. That one's not the right size. Oh, it's over there, it's on the lathe. Okay, well, there we go. Faff, faff, faff. Oh, come on, come These, by the way, are not my cheap Chinese collets. These are my good ones, which are ER25, not ER32. These are European-made collet sets, and they do work properly. Come on. Two. One flip. Up. There we go. Right. Here I am, Charlie. Let's uh, set you to, uh, to the right size. That way I don't break my fucking knuckles. That's better. So, we're now going to re-drill these um, to two and a half, and we're done. Well, nearly done. I need to mark, and I need to, uh, to chamfer. Double check. Oh yes, nice fit. Very nice fit. So, there we go. That is the uh, is the milling done. Uh, what we're going to do here is verify that the compound slide here 
actually has something in it which is parallel to its axis of movement. So the first thing we're going to do is check this side. So we go in here, go into zero, and within the flex of the uh, of the actual thing, it appears to be parallel. That's pretty good. Next thing, I'm going to check the edges of the. Uh, of the T-slots. They are probably less useful but potentially could be used. So we're doing the same thing that we're doing here. So let's come to that. And they are also within the flex in the T-slide. Basically square. Now that we're sure that the, the slide is parallel to its axis of movement one way or another and if yours isn't you could probably grind a, a small part on there um, we unloosen the slide as joe might say um, and we set our pins in our in our block one in the zero position and one in the position for the cone that we wish to set in this case i wish to set for a very badly struck 7 over 24 cone. So I have my pins set in here and we're going to lock by manually the block against the side of the cross slide and then let's give ourselves a bit of bit of wiggle room. We're going to use a square reference something which is square to the axis of rotation of the lathe. In this case, the side of the chuck. And we set ourselves up until we are square. And then we re-unloosen, we tighten, as it were, the slide. And the angle is set. No pissing about with comparators, no pissing about with setting up a cone in the chuck, trying to trying to get ourselves square to that cone. All we need to do is that. You could also use it for setting a milling vise relative to the table depending on what angle you wanted to set so basically this is uh, this is just a, just an adaptation of john's of john's design thank you very much john for coming up with the design in the first place but uh yeah quite a handy little tool quickie for today which is what i say to the wife occasionally